So many of you are wondering about the reviews and the, the placement and everything. So I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on how to work through them. So notice I have review for mod one through three, four through seven. Those are both past due, but, uh, they each have a secondary due date, which is the date, the last day of the exam. So I can still work on these. I can still earn value, even though personally, I have not started either of these. Uh, you'll see also the review for mod eight through 11 is available if I want to, um, it's due next Friday, uh, or due on Friday. Um, these modules five through eight were due or, or are due tomorrow. So those I should work through because the modules, once the due date passes, I won't be able to access them. Okay. So I want to get those done, but for the reviews, again, they are something the question, so, so let's just focus on one of the mod one through three. There's 15 questions in here. The exam that the algebra exam will take, and it's similar when we get to the trig part, uh, there are 20 questions on the exam. So these for mod one through three, these 15 questions, they're actually 15 separate topics taken from mods one through three, they are paired up in groups of either two or three. And what will happen is the exam looks at these same two to three topics and will randomly choose one of them for the questions that will be on your exam. So each person gets a slightly different one, but you'll see some similar things in here. Okay. So the exam questions are drawn directly from these topics. Now you, I, it's very unlikely you will get exactly the same question. So I've had some people say, well, you told me that the questions would be the same. The topics are the same. They are similar type questions, but make sure you understand at least these particular topics. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And what you're going to see is once we're in here, this is exactly, this is on the same platform that the exam is built on. So the experience will be the same. You go ahead and start it it's just like with the exam of course, the exam is password protected and such. So you have to go through and let's see, gives you a little bit of information about what you can do, I guess. Let's see if I can, I've already went through this. Oh, it wants me to type a number, clear it, undo it. So it's giving me some instructions here. So. What you'll have is that, again, this is just like the exam. You can skip around to various questions. Um, now in the exam, it won't have these tools to help you. But of course, this is a review, a preparation. So there are these tools. Uh, my suggestion is, is that when you go through this a second time, maybe the first time you can go ahead and use the, the tools you need, but the second time treat it as if it were an exam. Do not use your notes. Do not use these. See how you do with it. Okay. Maybe the third time you can go through this multiple times, but let me go back here. Cause I think this question I can answer fairly relatively easy. This is not a function. So this is each graph below state, whether it's a function or not fails the vertical line test, right? This one fails the vertical line test right here at one, these two points will line up. So that's not a function. This has some overlap vertical line tests. So that's not a function. This one, if you do the vertical line test, every point only goes through one vertical line. So yes, this is a function. This, a vertical line test fails because it'll go through in two places, right? So that's not a function. Uh, this is a upside down on a parabola that's opening downwards. It's an X squared and, and this one is a function. Okay. So I'm, I notice it doesn't tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I'm going to continue. I've answered this one. I'm going to show you. Uh, number two, I get to this question. I'm supposed to answer these. I don't really want to take the time. Let me, let me answer one or two of these. So two thirds times six, three goes, that's two times two is four, four minus 13 is negative nine, but since it's absolute value, it'll be positive nine, uh, for, for G of X, if I put in five, five minus three is two square root of two is still square root of two. Uh, so I get six plus square root of two and I have to enter it that way. Okay. 
I'm going to miss this one. Uh, I'm just going to take a while. Yes, I'll say 15. Hopefully, I, I think I'm wrong. Uh, but I want to see if this will give partial credit or not. So it, hopefully it should say these first two are correct with the last one not. On the exam, I've got them set up to do that way. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work here in the reviews. But anyway, you go through and you answer some questions. Typically when I work these, I'll, I'll work five questions and then I will submit the assignment so that it will grade it. It will score it. It's of course going to mark all the questions six to 15 wrong because I haven't done them yet, but that's okay. I've got these set up with what's called a quick retake. So now I've used one of unlimited attempts. I've made 11% progress. It tells me how much time I submitted, but then what I get to do is I get to look at the report. And hopefully I got something right uh, again, sometimes. Okay. So I did get all of one, right? Yeah. So that was good. And on two, I got partial, which is good. So it's kind of, it's using like in the test it, and it tells me up here that my answer was incorrect for the, the last part, but it does tell me, oh, I got, you had these two, right? So that's kind of cool. And then of course, all, everything else is marked as incorrect because I didn't even try them. So what I do now is I do a quick retake. And what I do is when I start it, I won't have to answer question one again. In fact, I won't be able to go back to one because I answered it correctly. I do get two again because I did not get it completely correct. So it says, okay, you still need some practice with that. And then I got all the other ones to do. So I kind of do that. I do about five at a time, wait till I get those five correct. And I work on another five and keep going through. And once you, once you're sort of done for the day, um, you're going to want to submit the assignment because while this is open, until you submit it, you might try to go back into something else, um, but you will not be able to access anything else until this is submitted. You go, wait, why, why can't I go to these other things? I can, because the review is still in progress. It's so it's like an exam when you're taking an exam, you can't come back here and do anything. So. While you are in review mode, you cannot do anything else until you say, okay, I'll submit. I didn't do any work and so didn't make any progress. But again, I've got unlimited attempts. I can go as many times as I want, still look at that report. So far, I've got one question correct, uh, but you'll see that you'll build over time. And so, and you can get into these reviews at any time. So maybe you work through the, and I, I have them set up. So in this one is modules one through three. So the first five questions are probably from module one. Uh, the next five are probably from question two, next five from three, four or five or something like that, you know, five or six. So, but they are grouped. They are, I put them in here by order of the modules as well. So you can start working through, but do this multiple times. And, you know, again, once you've answered all 15, what it does, it will take your highest score. So once you get all 15 correct with this quick retake, you will have a hundred percent. Go ahead and then use it as you like. Keep doing quick retakes to get the practice that you need. Again, you're going to see some that are similar type problems. And again, these topics that are coming up like this, these are the topics are what are randomly chosen for the exam itself. The exam will look very much like this, the same type of platform. You can jump around on it. The only thing that's missing is you won't have these, um, these resources to go into. Okay. So that's the, that's the reviews. They're a very important part. Again, you should learn from the modules first, should have really gone work through module one, two, and three, but these reviews are here to solidify your learning and to prepare you well for when you go to face the exam. All right. Good studies.